A trading bloc is a type of intergovernmental agreement, often part of a regional intergovernmental organization where regional barriers to trade like tariffs and quotas on the movement of goods, labor, services, and capital are reduced or eliminated among the participating states. It is argued that member countries can enjoy mutual benefits from being engaged in free international trade. The European Free Trade Association was established on May 3, 1960 as a trade bloc alternative for European states who were unable to join the European Union. The main countries were Austria, Denmark, Norway, Portugal, Sweden, Switzerland, and the United Kingdom. Now only Iceland, Norway, and Switzerland and Liechtenstein remain members of the EFTA. The European Free Trade Association was set up in order to provide a trade bloc alternative for those countries within Europe that are either unwilling or unable to join the European Union and therefore are unable to benefit from it. As Netta said, it was originally set up to benefit seven countries, however now only four remain. Iceland, Norway, Switzerland, and Liechtenstein. The level of free trade within the European Free Trade Association is free trade area, where the member states agree to trade freely with each other, but have separate trade barriers with non-member countries. The EFDA has several free trade agreements with non-European Union countries, as well as declarations and on corporations and joint work groups to improve trade. Even though there are these agreements, there are still countries that are outside the trading bloc. These countries have to pay tariffs, which are taxes imposed on goods, and they have to pay. Uh, they have to abide by the quotas, which are restrictions that limit the amount of goods that can be imported into the country, which is in the trading bloc. Iceland, Norway, Switzerland, and Liechtenstein are the remaining members that are part of this trade bloc. The European Union, in contrast, is a union made up of 27 countries in Europe. The four members of EFTA are not members of the European Union, and therefore do not receive the same benefits as those countries in the EU. They do benefit, however, from each other. There is free trade between all member states, and they also benefit from free trade and partnership agreements within their worldwide network, giving them free access to nearly 440 million consumers. Three of the four member states, Iceland, Liechtenstein, and Norway, are also able to participate in the EU's internal market. Whenever countries form or join a regional trading bloc, there are likely to be winners and losers. Trade creation takes place when a country switches from buying commodities from a high-cost country to buying them from a lower-cost country, following the formation of a regional trading bloc. This should happen within a free trade area. Trade diversion results in losers in a trading bloc when a country switches from buying commodities from a low-cost country to buying them from a higher-cost country. Firms can overcome the barriers posed by the trading bloc and benefit of doing so by becoming multinational corporations. Multinational corporations are companies that operate in one or more countries. By opening in another country, they can benefit from the country if it's in one of the trading blocs. Therefore, they can benefit from more than one trading bloc and overcome the trading barriers. Localization is the combination of globalization and localization. It is basically when a company is able to make connections on a local, regional, and global scale. Any firm can benefit from such an idea. Sure, creating products or services that appeal to a wide range of people and that can easily be replicated all over the world can broaden a business's customer range. However, customer loyalty and so on can be built up by focusing on the consumer's local needs and wants as well. For example, a sandwich company can develop their global strategy easily by having five standard types of sandwiches that are sold all over the world and that are easily recreated. 
However, the company can also benefit by making spicy sandwiches for India or sushi sandwiches for Japan. This form of globalization can easily benefit the company's global strategy. The World Trade Organization is an international organization that consists of 150 member countries which agree to work on reducing and eliminating barriers to international trade. As advocates of free and fair trade, member states resolve to resolve disputes through the WTO. It was set up in 1995 in Geneva, Switzerland to, to replace its predecessor, the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade. The Doha Development Round or Doha Development Agenda is the current trading negotiations round of the World Trading Organization, which commenced in November 2001. Its objective is to lower trade barriers around the world, which allows countries to increase trade globally. Doha Round Talks are overseen by the Trade Negotiations Committee, whose chair is the WTO's Director General Pascal Lamy. The intent of the round was to make trade rules fairer for developing countries. However, by 2008, critics were charging that the round would expand a system of trade rules that were bad for development and interfered excessively with countries' domestic policies. The Doha rounds began with a ministerial level meeting in Doha, Qatar in 2001. Subsequent ministerial meetings took place in Cancun, Mexico in 2003 and Hong Kong 2005. Related negotiations took place in Geneva, Switzerland, 2004, 2006, and 2008, Paris, France in 2005, and Potsdam, Germany, 2007. The round of negotiations, July 23rd to 29th, 2008, broke down after failing to reach a compromise on agriculture import rules. After the breakdown, major negotiations were not expected to resume until 2009. Nevertheless, intense negotiations, mostly between the USA, China, and India, were held in the end of 2008 in order to agree on negotiation modalities. However, these negotiations did not result in any progress. Ten countries have called for negotiations to start again. Brazil and Pascal Lamy have led this process. The President of Brazil called several countries' leaders to urge them to renew re negotiations. The declaration at the end of the G20 summit of world leaders in London in 2009 included the pledge to complete the, Do the Doha Round. At the 7th WTO Ministerial Conference held in Geneva in December 2009, trade ministers agreed on the need to conclude the Doha Round in 2010 and to conduct a stock-taking exercise in the first quarter of the year. Officials have been working towards these goals throughout January, including through senior official meetings and agriculture and services clusters in Geneva.